A new Pokemon Presents was announced for Monday, and I am so beyond excited, so let me know some of your predictions in the comments down below, and let's get started with my predictions. First off, we're gonna keep them kinda safe. I obviously think we're going to get some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. It just has to happen, but I think there's a couple things that are gonna come with this DLC. Number one, I think we're gonna expand on the story a ton. If you remember in Scarlet and Violet, there had a whole crazy Arvin storyline, and it involved his parents. I know, that's crazy. I'm sorry if I just spoiled that for you. The game did come out like three months ago. You gotta catch up, okay? Anyways, I played through the ending for Violet. My boyfriend had Scarlet, so I also got to watch the ending of Scarlet. And I think that it just leaves open so much room for DLC. I think it makes so much sense to expand on that story and tell us a story where maybe Arvin is able to get reunited with the parent. You know what I'm saying? He could go back to the past or he can go forward in the future and I think by allowing him to do that, that will also give us a whole new region to explore because we know in these DLCs we usually get a new region or two new regions to fully flesh out and explore and find new Pokemon, stuff like that. So I totally think it makes sense for Arvin to go to the past and see his mom or something like IRL and then be able to experience all those Pokemon and maybe there's some extinct Pokemon that we don't have anymore but they're like predecessors to new Pokemon you know what I'm saying and I feel like we kind of already got something like that so it does definitely have precedent to show up here plus I feel like exploring a past version of the area we're in in Scarlet and Violet a past Paldea could be so so cool the same thing with the future area. We can go forward in time and we can experience some Pokemon that have evolved crazy versions of crazy evolved Pokemon that don't really resemble other ones, but like somehow they're tied and related to them. So it ties in with the story and all that. I feel like it could be so cool. Then Arvin can see his dad over there and experience that. And they usually do two areas, you know, they in Sword and Shield, they did the Tundra and the desert area i believe and so here they could do past and future and i think it would make so much sense because those are areas that they can fully flesh out and explore and show us with new pokemon that are also there which is something that they also like to add so i totally think it makes sense and i'm so looking forward to seeing what they do with this dlc i hope i'm not wrong and i hope they really go crazy with it and deliver on some cool story stuff my next prediction is that we're going to see something about the Pokemon anime here. Now, we do know that Ash has been retired after like 25 or something more years. So now we have a brand new protagonist. She's a girl. I don't know if we have her name yet, but I'm super excited to see what that means for the anime. I mean, I don't really watch it personally, but I think it's definitely super interesting and something that they're going to probably touch on here. Maybe we get like a cute trailer, like an introducing our new, our new main trainer guy and maybe some of her friends that surround. Something like that I think could be really cool. Pokemon Unite is also a thing that's pretty big, I think, and the Pokemon company seems to like doing new things for it. I think maybe we're gonna get some new Pokemon added. I'm thinking maybe Fue Coco, and then, you know, obviously like Skeledurge is what he becomes, or I think it'd be super cool if we got Sprigatito because Masquerato? I don't, I don't remember the name, but the final evolution of Sprigatito is super cool, and I feel like that could be really fun to play as in Unite. I'm not really sure. I don't play it a ton, so if they're already in there, I'm sorry, but I definitely think they're going to touch on Unite in this presentation. Then there's probably going to be some smaller things touched on, like Pokemon Cafe Mix, which they always kind of like to talk about. Nobody really cares about that. I've played that game. It's kind of fun, but it's like super mindless. Like, I don't know why it's such a thing. Anyways, probably touching on Pokemon Cafe Mix, and then we have Pokemon Home, and I feel like they always like to kind of remind us that it's a thing, so I think we're definitely going to talk Talk a bit about Pokemon Home as well. And then I have two major predictions which would just make the presentation so wild if they happen but before I get into them I want you to tell me in the comments down below what are your predictions so far? What are you thinking we're gonna get? Have I been right? Do you think I'm gonna be right about that DLC? I feel like I am. And let's get into those last two predictions. There's been tons of rumors. There's been tons of people talking about it. I think we're probably going to get a brand new mystery dungeon game. A lot of people are thinking maybe like a remake of some of the past ones. I think it makes sense to give us a wholly new mystery dungeon game because these games have been kind of very divisive in the gaming community as a whole. They always kind of get review bombed. They get bad scores on Metacritic, all that kind of stuff. But there is a core fan base who really, really enjoys them. So what I think is it would make a lot of sense for Game Freak to take that franchise and make it just a tiny bit more mainstream so that more people can enjoy it and it's not such a divisive game. I feel like there's a lot you can do with it and I hope that they expand on it and make it super cool. I'm thinking we're probably going to get a cool cell sh shaded art style because I actually really like the one that they have on the Switch, the Pokemon Rescue Team DX. That was a pretty cool art style so I'm hoping they kind of stick with something similar to that and I feel like it could be such a fun game. I just hope and I think this is going to be wrong, but I, if they would put it at $40, I would get this game in a heartbeat. Just like that. So fast. But 60 bucks 
for a game like this? I don't know. And then the next thing we get announced is going to be a remake of Gen 5, but not in the traditional way. I think we're going to get the Legends Arceus treatment to Gen 5, and I think it'd be so cool to see black and white before it was black and white, you know, like that whole region reimagined in the past and it'd be so great to see another legends game because then we can get that gameplay returned to i loved that gameplay the whole open zone type deal i thought was really really cool and i think it helped a lot on the pop-in and i totally wouldn't mind if they just decided to go back to that open area instead of a full open world like they did in scarlet and violet so in this trailer i think we're gonna see like an open with the gameplay of legends arceus you know you're gonna be rolling around dodging some crazy alpha pokemon stuff like that and i feel like it'll really get people hyped and really Really, like reimagine the idea of a remake for a Pokemon game because we obviously don't love like the chibi art style that came in Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond. We loved Legends Arceus so give us more Legends games so we can really experience these regions and how they should be experienced and I'm super super excited for this presentation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe before you go. Please check out this video. I went really in depth with my friend Infinite Aura in my our podcast episode all about what we think is going to show up so if you want some more pokemon predictions from him a couple of randos from me too that i didn't put in this video it's going to be right over there so make sure you check it out